Hey everyone, it's Fusion Fall here. Um, I want to talk about something that I did that was super stupid of me to do. And basically had to reinstall my whole computer, which was a pain in the ass. Um, I want to talk about it and just don't recommend you guys to do this at all if you are trying to upgrade to Windows 11 because right now I am on Windows 11 um, yeah very 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 bad thing I did forced me to uh, you can see here Windows 11 home um, yeah I did some stuff that made me made me so I had to reinstall my whole computer and that is I had to convert my um, OS hard drive to GPT from MBR and that was a huge pain for me because I was kind of looking forward to see how Windows 11 works and I have it now but it's not I'm not happy about it the way I had to do it um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk about this. Let's go into partition um, manager thingy. Um, I'm going to show you guys. And the, the reason why I'm streaming at the moment is because I don't have any of my uh, editing software installed at all. The only thing I have now is OBS and the programs you see here and two of these games I'm still downloading downloading back from Final Fantasy 15. That's gonna be take a long time because it's like 100 gig. So that's not a fun thing. I think I really want time to load in. Oh here we go. Yeah, I see. Uh here is all my drives. This is the C drive, it's said uh, as disk two, which is very strange. Uh, then we have disk one and disk two. Um, so yeah, let's go into my uh, my d my D drive, which is called disk one. I'm going to go into uh, prop uh, properties. I'm going to go into volume. Let's see here partition type. It's MBR mass boot record. Uh, the thing about that, you can't convert. But you, you can't run Windows 11 on MBR. You have to convert to GPT. If, and if you go to my C drive, go to that volume, you can see it's GPT, GUID partition table. The thing with this, uh, you can convert it in, uh, in Windows. You can just do CMD, do administrator, will pop up and you can do uh, MBR to GPT uh, maybe I can't do it because I would done I, I don't remember the commands but you can convert it in CMD uh, but the thing is I had a little problem with that because when I tried to do this um, my C drive uh, was kind of fucked up, and I've kind of noticed that a little bit uh, when I start my PC and stuff. Uh, that I had an extra partition to my disk one. Um, basically, the like, the, I what it's called in English now, but yeah, the, the recovery thing was on C drive, but my boot thing, the system reserved partition, was on disk one. So basically, my OS is on my C drive, but the boot partitions is on this one. So if I would if I would have taken out this one out of my PC and tried to start my computer, it wouldn't work. I would not be able to boot my PC at all. So for a long time, I tried to figure out, oh, why can't I upgrade to Windows 11? Why I did all the bio stuff because I had I had to do all those things too, but basically I had 
I, I had to do all this this secure boot stuff and um trust the device things and bios i did all that uh, and change over to u and u u a f i u f i e i forgot what they're called it's not you have to go from legacy to u u f f i i think it's called that uh, something like that to to basically run Windows 11 then it's uh, the whole all about hardware and stuff i had all that thank god um yeah, but then you need to convert to GPT. And that was my big problem, having the system boot on another drive. So I did all kind, watch all kind of videos trying to figure out how to convert it or move the, the reserve system partition to the C drive. And I even, I even talked with Microsoft and said, oh, re reinstall your computer. Your computer I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that just to have have to reinstall everything. That would be a pain in the ass to do. Where am I now? <laughs> so I watched a video. I don't want to bring hate on someone because this person could have done. It could have worked for him, but it didn't work for him. So I don't want to bring any hate on him. But I just want to warn people if they're gonna do this. Let's see if I have the video video still here. Yeah, I think it's this one. This video moves system reserve petition to another disk. Hello and welcome to IT Army. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk and stuff. But yeah, he I followed his video on how to do it. Uh, it seemed promising. Basically, the way they explained it is that I had to make another partition on the C drive and then copy from. Um, from the system reserved from here it was here over to there and then just delete that one or, or make that one active and then delete that one uh, and there is basically where I fucked myself by inactivating the system reserved on disk one I basically bricked my PC so I I, I took my laptop I have for school and stuff and work and I created a Windows 10 uh, bootable installation because you can use the repair features there. And I tried the the uh, the boot up uh, error code testing thingy, and it basically said, "Oh, we can't find anything, and we cannot fix it." I didn't even get a log or anything I could look at. Uh, and it just said, oh, boot into another OS. It's like, uh, okay, how the F am I going to do that? I cannot just simply look, go into another OS to get all my stuff and s fix it. It doesn't work like that. So I, I kind of thought, okay, I, I basically fucked myself. I could just be installed by PC. Uh, so you have lost some frames. Um, yeah, I was basically, oh, I, I might as well just reinstall my PC. There's no need to just sit here and do nothing and draw my thumb trying to figure something out. It's like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to install Windows 11 with a, with a boot USB. So I basically took the USB and made, created a Windows 11 one. Uh, funny thing, my laptop... That is so bad. It's slow and shit when I have to work with it in school. I could upgrade to Windows 11 directly. It gave me full green on everything. I was so bloody shocked. It's it was so surprising. I did. I did. Uh, like I. I even fucking complained about it to people. I was so surprised. But uh, yeah. I could I could just upgrade that directly and yeah but yeah I, while my laptop worked on making that USB I started to look up my because I, I'm quite a smart person sometimes I guess uh, I'm quite uh, organized of everything so I basically have a 
a a document on my Google Drive. It basically says what software stuff I have on my PC and everything. I even uh, smart. Okay, I uh, can I can Django the level. I cannot see that quite well on my second screen. Uh, I'm not doing any, any particular stream, I'm just ranting a little bit, uh, which is gonna go up on my YouTube channel. Because I fucked up my PC. Now I can't get rid of that. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, um... If you wanna... If you miss something right now, uh, what I've said before, you, if you wanna... This is a Windows 11 go wrong thing. I can't get rid of that chat thing now with your name. Ugh. Oh, I guess the window is too small, that's why. There we go. I can take it a little bit quick for you. Uh, basically, my computer was not... Uh, Compatible to upgrade to Windows 11 because of uh, the the um, what's it called the boo the, the the I forget the name. Yeah, the, part the partition type was MBR. This is why bigger hard drives is not about C drive because you have to convert it to GPT, and my system reserve partition was on my D drive. And so I my system was like working on two drives, so it's kind of strange. Um, uh, and yeah, to continue on with my talk before, um, um, yeah. So I basically watched that video and I followed all of that, and I bricked my PC and had to reinstall and all that. So while I was working on uh, th that was working. I basically looked up my organization of what software I use, and I basically downloaded every software on the internet and put it on another USB so I could be ready for when the USB stick was ready. I can just reinstall Windows 11 and poof, be done. So I basically, from when I started doing this, I, tr I, I basically woke up at 3 a.m. It's like, huh. I'm gonna look at this video just because I'm bored. It could be fun to see if I actually could consider getting Windows 11. And, um, yeah, I, I sat there for one hour looking at video following that, and poof, 4 a.m., I fucked my PC. Uh, I went inside <laughs> to my parents who just woke up. It's like, I was so mad and furious. I was like, oh, how am I gonna be able to do this? And, like, until like 3 p.m. when I'm going to a hockey game <laughs> because I knew this was gonna take time and from 4 to about 12 a.m. I reinstalled Windows, downloaded everything, set up OBS, my stream deck, audio, drivers, everything and I even managed to eat breakfast. I was... that was so tiring to do. I managed, and I'm... A friend from USA sent me a picture of Swedish fish. Nice. Buy some. So yeah, shitty, shitty of me not thinking to do anything. And here's the thing. I didn't back up any of my recordings or... Uh, exports of of my Adobe programs or OBS or anything at all. Now my internet is really taking a crap. Why? Here is another thing. I can't record because I don't have... Uh, I can't edit because I don't have a, a Premiere installed. Come on, internet.
There we go. So yeah, shitty situation. Um, didn't back up anything, which was stupid. I always back up stuff. I don't know what I was thinking. Might be I might be just been tired. I don't know. I can I can only blame myself. In the end. So yeah, but when I installed Windows, I kind of thought, oh, I'm gonna be smart here. I'm not gonna com like format my other two hard drives. So I left them alone and hope I could actually go back into them when I had Windows 11 installed and back up all my stuff. Then I could format them because I knew. I know for a fact I could not be able to use those programs installed. I did actually get my password manager to work, which was quite needed uh, after installation. Um, so yeah, that's basically my how I fucked up installing Windows 11 story, I guess. Um, yeah. That's basically all I wanted to talk about and warn people just in case they have the same problem having system partition on another drive. Looking at tons of YouTube videos. In this case, I even recommend listening to Microsoft and just reinstall your computer or don't do anything at all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um... Basically, at the moment, uh, part of YouTube and stuff, uh, talk a little bit about the future. At the moment, I'm installing Final Fantasy XV. Uh, since I'm let's playing that, that's going to take a little while. I uh, have like 44% 40, done. It's like 94. It's, it's so big of a game. Um, Doctor Who... Uh, I'm gonna probably start recording that after Final Fantasy is finished downloading and stuff. Um, anything else? I don't need to worry about uploading stuff because I I record in such a huge bulk of videos. So I have basically videos ready to be released up till... Let's see. Like... 5th of November. I think I think 5th of November. Eleventh of November even. Oh damn. Okay. So yeah, I have videos coming out. Uh I think there's gonna be a video out not today, but on Monday. Yeah, Monday. So yeah. This is my little rant. Um, thank you, Chango de L L Lamo. I'm sorry if I'm really butchering that. I'm terrible with names. Uh, but thank you for coming and listening to a little bit of my rant. Uh, I'm going to leave my PC and let it download Final Fantasy 15. And I'm probably going to watch a movie or something. I need. I need to unwind and just relax now because it's been a hectic day i can't lie about that but thank you for being here and thank and oh people take this warning good and uh youtube people i will see you guys next time in another video bye